What's up guys? Welcome to 1010 Talk. Back at you with another episode. I am Adam and this is... Aista. So today's topic, we are talking about Rolex. Now, as many of you know, I had a Rolex 16570, the Polar, not the Polar Explorer, the Explorer 2, the Polar's the white dial, I had the black dial. And I stopped wearing it for quite a while. Uh, probably for about two months, I didn't wear it at all. And I ended up selling it for... A lifetime of happiness. That's right. <laughs> I, engaged. I let go of the Rolex and now we are engaged. I think it was a much better <laughs> trade. I think selling the Rolex for something a little sparkly uh, to make me very happy and a, a commitment would be a very, very big upgrade. You also hated it. Too. I also really freaking hated it, but yeah. that's no surprise to you guys. But I don't hate this. You did really good. So I might not approve of all your watches, and I might not approve of your taste in watches, but <laughs> your taste in jewelry, it's pretty good. Very nice. It's pretty good. So out of all of your watches that you decided to sell, why did you decide to sell the Rolex? Instead of... Well, this, I'm glad, I'm very glad you didn't sell the Speedy, but well, why no, that Rolex? I mean, you do love the Speedy, but that doesn't really have anything to do with it, because you'll see in a, an upcoming couple episodes, we're going to talk about why the Speedy is the greatest watch of all time. Um, that's true, I could have sold my Speedmaster or let go of some other pieces, uh, but to be honest, I sold the Rolex because uh, Rolex is overrated. <laughs> Thank you. I've been saying this from the beginning. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I do like a lot of vintage Rolexes um, that cost twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty thousand um, dollars. There are some really vintage. There are some vintage, really old Rolexes that I would love to own one day, but probably just will never own. Um, I love the Patrizzi dial Rolex uh, Daytonas, uh, the original Explorer twos, the one six five fives. I uh, love old Matt GMTs and um, old Submariners too, but to be quite honest, with the way Rolex is priced these days, every time I look down at a, at when I'm wearing a, a Rolex, like a pre-ceramic sub or even an Explorer 2, I can't help but stare at it and think to myself, wow, this is really not worth the money. So an example of for the other end of the spectrum, um, I had a JLC master control sector dial, which you guys are probably very well aware of. That was, you can get those for low four, four grand-ish now. Um, and I think you can get, probably get a master control for other, under, under four at this point with a standard black dial or, or a, like a silver or white dial. Um, and just as an example, when I look down at my JLC sector dial, every time I look down at it, I was always in awe. I never thought once, wow, this is way overpriced. But there's something about Rolex being a basic steel sports piece that costs five, six, seven, even with the Hulks and the BL BLNRs now, 10, 11, 12, $13,000. It just doesn't seem worth it to me when you have value proposition divers and sports steel watches like Sins and Orises and even Omegas. You look at the new Omega Seamaster ceramic, it's $4,400 retail, and it is all the watch that a Submariner is for literally half the price. You know, I was trying to get into Rolex because it's so hyped up, and there's such a crazy value bubble now. It seems like you buy it, it goes up $1,000 every six months, but I've just kind of realized that I'm not a Rolex person. So... But I think that's okay. I... It was an easy decision to let that one go So to help fund for... Of course. I'm very that happy about guy. that. Um, but I also think that with Rolexes, at least from my perspective, that is such a cliche status symbol. But I understand that there are the, you know, the mechanics behind it that people really appreciate. But to me, when I see an individual wearing a Rolex, my first thought is, is like, oh, wow, you're so creative. Like, it just doesn't seem to be anything new or interesting or unique. Uh, to me, it's like when... Uh, a girl gets her first Louis Vuitton bag. It's like, mm. why? Why did you waste your money on something that everyone has that doesn't make you stand out or doesn't add any yeah, extra value? Yeah, but you would value? buy one. No, I hate Louis. Oh, okay. Louis Vuitton to me is like Rolex. It's just yeah. Well, there's it's a double-edged sword because 
the reason why Rolex is po so popular is because it truly is so good and so reliable and has so much heritage and is such a reliable movement. But at the same time, because it's so good, you got 90% of the people that wear them are Joe Schmoes. As in, they don't know they, anything about they're watches. They're a douche frat bro <laughs> finance guy. Not Wall necessarily. It's all, also have you some, been on the subway? Also some older, older just gentlemen that have had date just their entire life. You know what I mean? But that's the thing is, uh, chances are, I'm guessing, if you go up to someone with a Rolex and say, oh, nice GMT or nice BLNR, they probably won't know what you're talking about. Depends on where you are. You know, or They're probably trying to think you're stealing the watch maybe. But anyways... Um, yeah, that's a whole that's a whole different discussion topic for another time. Uh, but yeah, nothing uh, nothing really to, else to say besides uh, just staring at that. <laughs> if you really want to make your partners happy, my suggestion would be if you have a Rolex in your possession, why don't you trade it for something a little bit more <laughs> valuable, a little sparklier, um, a little sparklier, and something that will make both people in a relationship happy. Yeah, right. As I just spill wine all over myself. Yeah, good job. That's what you get. Instagram, 1010 underscore talk. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment. Drop a congratulations if you want. I'm sure I'll get plenty of those. And I will catch you guys in the next video. We will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Cheers.